Everyone that comes in goes through a basic uh, screening process uh, to make sure that there, um, there are no serious medical conditions that would war uh, warrant or prevent them from being admitted to our facility. Uh, if they do come in with, uh, like if they've been in a motor vehicle accident, they have to be uh, cleared by the hospital before we could accept someone like that. Uh, we also have requirements for anyone that is overly intoxicated. There's a, um, a minimum that they have to uh, be at in order for us to accept them. Otherwise, they need to be cleared by the hospital so that we don't have to deal with any serious uh, medical conditions when someone comes in our back door. Um, but they go through a basic screening process and they're held in booking for a period of time where that booking process is completed. Um, then they are typically moved to, we have an or, what's called an orientation unit, and so um, they're housed there for 24 to 72 hours and that gives our medical staff then an opportunity to go and finish the, uh, complete the screening process. Um, and in that we look at suicide risk factors, we look at um, what's called a PREA risk uh, assessment, uh, determine if there are um, potential for victimization or uh, any predatory type individuals. We try to separate them uh, at booking. Uh, we also uh, look at uh, um, screen for serious mental illness uh, for folks that come in the back door and then based on you we do an internal classification uh, which separates folks by custody level. So we have minimum, medium, and close, and that allows us to house people according to their custody so that we don't put low-risk offenders in with a high-risk population. Um, and uh, we have um, different housing units in, uh, in NORCOR so that depending on your custody, that's where you'll be housed. Uh, and some folks typically are with a roommate uh, in a cell, um, all the, and we have several dorm type settings, and so those hold up to 22 individuals, and so they're, they're housed together. Um, and the only folks that are housed uh, alone would be those who are in segregation, who may have violated one of the uh, uh, um, rules of the, of the jail, and, be, and they may be serving punitive segregation, or they may be violent. Um, and therefore have to be separated uh, from the rest of the population and they would be housed in segregation.